Hello and welcome to a new episode of Crazy Buildings. Today we will be talking about a very profitable area of investment into real estate, namely hotels. And we will be doing that in front of an absolutely amazing and unique building. A hotel built basically in the underground, in an abandoned mining pit. This is going to be an interesting one. Join me. So if you have ever played a game of Monopoly, then you know that owning hotels is so much more profitable than owning houses. And there's a lot of truth to that because when you have a hotel on one single floor, you have so many individual rooms that are all rented out separately. And on a per square meter or per square foot basis, you therefore, of course, have a much higher income. Of course, with that also comes a lot of additional workload. That's why sometimes in the real estate investment world, we say investing into apartments or offices or business parks is investing into real estate. But investing into hotels is investing into businesses, not real estate. And the logic being you can have about 100 apartments with just two team members taking care of them. One signing all the lease agreements, the other one doing the facility management or maintenance. But in a hotel of let's say 400 rooms, you would already have something like two to 300 staff. So that is a different animal, a different game. And that is also why one would often have separate entities. We are now visiting the intercontinental Shanghai Wonderland, which is owned and developed by Shimao and is operated by the Intercontinental Hotels Group. And the Intercontinental Shanghai Wonderland is truly one of the most exciting and also most expensive hotels in China. And it is also a good example of that separation between the owning company and the operating company. In the old days, you would often have hotel groups owning all their buildings. But then in order to expand faster, they would start to rent buildings. And nowadays, you often have a revenue share or profit share agreement where you have a property investment or holding company owning the buildings, owning the premises, and an operating company taking care of operations and sharing their revenue or profit with the owner. So you would have a lot of real estate developers or even pension funds or other investment vehicles owning the buildings. And then you have brands like Hyatt, Royal Meridian, Marriott, or in this case, Inter Intercontinental Hotel Groups taking care of operations. And we have arrived at the Intercontinental Shanghai Wonderland. And as we can see, here we are on the ground floor level. The entrance of the hotel is basically on the ground floor. And then the entire rooms and facilities and restaurants are basically in the underground. And the idea for this was first developed by Shimao president Xu Rongmao when he came and saw this former mining pit. And he said, why not make a hotel out of it? And then they, it took about three years of investigation whether or not this was theoretically possible. After that, it took time for planning. After that, it took time for construction. And now almost 20 years later, in about 2018, the hotel was completed. And today we are here to explore it. So here we are in the so-called minus 10th floor, 10th floor in the underground of the hotel. And of course, hotel rooms are the bread and butter, are the most important aspect of any hotel. However, a lot of the other functions are also very important. For example, here we have about 330 hotel rooms. And interestingly, we have more than 300 staff because this is obviously a luxury hotel. And in a hotel, you would often have about 50% of the revenue coming from the room rentals. And you would have another 50% coming from restaurants, coffee shops, spa, gym, and so on. You would have companies host big functions, conventions. You would have people have their wedding here. And all of this is also very important to the business of a hotel.
and many are probably keen to know what the room rates are in a hotel like this and what the turnover of the entire hotel would be. Well, the normal rooms, which are already very nice, start at about 3,000 Chinese yuan per room per night, so about 500 US dollars. And the entire hotel, as per our estimate, would have an annual revenue of about 300 to 400 million Chinese yuan, so about 50 to 70 million US dollars. And with that, it is time for today's edition of True Story. And we have just now seen this truly amazing building. And in order to do something new and unique, well, you need a certain level of genius and maybe even craziness. But then in order to realize it, you also got to be realistic and honest and pragmatic. And we have had it several times that people came with some wild and interesting ideas. But it turned out that they were either professional scammers or maybe they were just a bit delusional. And they said, well, I have capital funding in place, I have my design in place, I have my government permits in place, and finally it turned out they have absolutely nothing in place. And I think not all of them are bad people, but they might have that misconception of fake it till you make it. And that finally never works. You may think of it like you can say, envision it till you make it, but you gotta be absolutely honest. You gotta say, this is my idea, this is how I wanna do it, this is what I need, this is what I don't have yet, this is how I'm trying to get it in place. Do you wanna be in, do you wanna help me? Because the moment you start to bluff and say you have it and you don't, well, chances are that those people who are in that business, they know each other, they talk to each other, and finally, when it comes out that you do not have what you promised, well, then you're very quickly out of the game. And we had, for example, in terms of hotels, a group that said, oh, we wanna build a floating hotel on the water, on the lake, and we have seen a few of those being built over, uh, um, over the years but at the time they claimed to have a lot of things that they didn't have and then finally uh, there's of course nothing coming out of it so I would say in a market like China in a market like Shanghai basically everything is possible but obviously nothing is easy and as anywhere in life honesty is the best policy mm -hmm.